<laughs> pick up chicks, you know, like you, you have this dead flower. So, hey, baby. I don't think huh? anything makes you look more like a stage magician than that. And I know nothing on this planet that is less sexy than a stage magician. So. <laughs> Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels and short stories. With me is Sam West, and today we're talking about the spell Druidcraft. Whoop, whoop. And then it blossoms, and it's a flower. I did Yay. it. Huzzah! This is a lovely little cosmetic cantrip. I use the term cosmetic cantrip to say any cantrip that doesn't have that practical of effects, but can add a lot of fun and flavor to your character sheet. These are little decorative embellishments you can kind of have on your druids. Uh, so as mentioned, this is a druid cantrip. It is a cast mode action range of 30 feet. Verbal somatic components, instantaneous duration. Whispering the spirits of nature, you create one of the following effects within range. A tiny, harmless, sensory effect that predicts the weather will be at your location for the next 24 hours. The effect might manifest as a golden orb for clear skies, a cloud for rain, falling snowflakes for snow, and so on. The effect persists for one round. So you create a thing, it tells you the forecast for 24 hours. Yeah. Uh, you Yay! You instantly make a flower blossom, seed pod pop open, or a leaf bud bloom. You create an instantaneous harmless sensory effect, such as falling leaves, a puff of wind, or the sound uh, the sound of a small animal, or a faint odor of skunk. The effects must fit in a five-foot cube. And finally, you instantly light or snuff a candle, torch, or a small campfire. All right, so this does nothing. That's not true. It just doesn't do a lot. <laughs> yeah. This does a couple of cute things. So I think... For the purposes of dungeon delving, I would say a 30-foot range snuff a candle or torch or campfire, that all can be useful, right? Yeah. It's not like something you're always going to want to do, but I could envision once or twice in a dungeon crawly kind of campaign wanting to have that access, right? Um, maybe. I, I don't know. I kinda I kinda like the idea of lighting them better. Yeah. Because if somebody's I mean, like... uh trying to hide. That's what yeah, they're, flame is they're for. crouching in the corner. I know, but just... yeah, that's true. That's the idea, at least. Uh, I just, you know, I think the idea of monsters are coming. Crap. There's a torch over there that's going to show our position. It's gone now. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. It, like, If somebody's carrying a torch, it's because they need a torch to see. Yeah. And, you know, if you blinded them, then. That could be fine. Yeah. Now... The real meat of this, I don't think, is actually... I think the line that is most dead... There's real meat to this? I do. I think this okay. is a really watered-down version of Minor Illusion in a lot of ways. So, the you instantly make a flower blossom, see pop open, or leaf blood bloom. That's just cosmetic. You will use that to entertain children, maybe. Like, maybe there's a an orphan or urchin that you're like, Hey, hey, little guy. And they go, Wow, or, you're my new dad! And they follow you around for the next session or whatever. Or, Pick up chicks, you know, like you, you have this dead flower. So, hey, baby. I don't think huh? anything makes you look more like a stage magician than that. And I know <laughs> nothing on this planet that is less sexy than a stage magician. So, well, I mean, you're a druid. You're going to have like antlers and shit on your head. And, uh, you know, you're really selling it. Dirt on your face. So, <laughs> yeah. That's a different look, is what I'm saying. Sure, to each their own too. Maybe that's your thing. That's have a have a great time with it. I just think that's a, a silly idea. <laughs> the other the other the two things that I think are worth talking about are the weather sensor, actually. I think there's more text there than meets the eye. And the instantaneous harmless sensory effect is very vague. And that yeah. vagueness leaves it open to do a lot of interesting stuff. I think that's probably the most relevant text here. So we can, I think we should end on that. For now, though, you think the weather predictor is entirely pointless? Like, there's no value to that? I mean, if you've got something going on that's weather dependent, uh, a picnic? I don't know. Um, or, a, I don't know, maybe you are, you're a druid. You've got spells that, I think there are a couple of spells that are more effective if it's cloudy out, right? Or if there's a no, there's I know there's at least one That's with more lightning. Effective? Yes. Oh, if, call lightning. You're right. All right. Yes. That so is such there a you weird go. Weird effect. I entirely forgot about it. So there's so that. Before a long rest, you ask the DM, 
should I prepare call lightning by doing this? That's kind of cute, right? All right, what, what else do you have in mind? Okay, so what I like this for, actually, is this informs the DM that they should think about the weather. And that might sound like a nothing feature, but it honestly will add a lot to your future encounters if you just use this for that. As a DM, it is default sunny, a little bit of clouds, mm -hmm. nothing else happening. I don't think I ever make it rain in my games unless I like... And someone points and says, what's the weather like? Then I go, oh, what's an interesting thing I could do with the weather here? This is a reminder in-game that you can pull up to say, hey, DM, what's the weather going to be tomorrow? And this gives them an opportunity that they otherwise wouldn't have thought of to go, oh, that's an interesting question. I'm going to challenge you all in a new way by making it hail, by making it storm, by making it whatever. That is genuinely novel. And while it may not seem like a powerful thing for your character, I do think you will get a little bit more enjoyment out of your games if you bring it up from time to time and your DM changes the outcome of the game based off of that. You can do a little bit more interesting stuff with this kind of effect. It even can like spur, the DM goes, I don't know, it's going to rain tomorrow, whatever. And you go, great. Now that we know it's going to rain, things are going to be closed, doors are going to be covered, the outdoor bazaar is going to be less populated. This is our perfect time to get X, Y, or Z plan going. You can... You can use weather as cover for different things. It's very minor, but it is still worth mentioning, I think. I think it is a really meaningful effect to bring a lesser used element of Dungeons & Dragons to the forefront. All right, I got one more. Okay. Um, in a similar vein to the uh, Call Lightning, mm -hmm. if it's going to be windy out, you don't want to cast your uh, cloudy uh, spells that can be easily dispersed. That's true. Fog Cloud is stone dead if it is a little breezy. If it's like a cool autumn day, it's just dead. <laughs> so at least this tells you don't prepare fog cloud. That could yeah. be cute. It's still mostly fluff, but it is still not. I do think this last effect isn't fluff, though. I think you can create an inst instantaneous harmless sensory effect in a five foot cube within 30 feet of you. That is relevant, right? Like you can do interesting be. stuff with that, can't you? Maybe. Um... Maybe. Maybe. I mean, all right, yes, you can. I just can't think of anything off the top of my head. I think if you're the kind of person that likes illusion spells, this kind of gives you permission to do the druid version of illusion spells, which is natural phenomena you create in the space. So smells uh, is mainly it, but it it doesn't have to be spells. It can be sight as well. You can do bursts of light conceptually as long as it is... Rem Sensory effect. It really is that vague. Leaves falling is a sensory effect. Are they physical leaves? Are they real? Are you spawning them into the space? I think so. And that could be interesting. A five-foot sensory effect? A swarm of bees? You could make it look like a swarm of bees is spawning and try and scare somebody? You can do creative, neat things with this, I think. You can make it smell like, oh, do I smell a pheasant and get somebody excited about a dinner or whatever? You could yeah, but you know, this use a, this. A five-foot cube. Like, all right, I guess... Yeah, all right. If you cast it like on them, they smell pheasant. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. I think while it is instantaneous, you can use like you can even do this in such a fashion where repeated uses of it from a hidden location could try and like draw an ogre away from a campsite while he thinks he's smelling like you know roast goblin or whatever. You could conceivably use this as a ranged tool to manipulate creatures from a distance in an illusionist kind of fashion. I like that a lot. Now. This is nowhere close to minor illusion. You don't get to no. create, like, fully encompassing rocks and stuff. This isn't literally anything you want. Your DM will likely put a substantially higher restriction on this line of text than they would on minor illusion. It is still generally a major element of the spell that I don't think you should overlook. I don't think you should just write off druid craft as a, it's just a cute bunch of druid things. You make flowers, petals glow or whatever. This has some meaningful abilities. It is still largely cosmetic, but I think this is one of the better cosmetic games. I think you could actually get a lot out of this. I think it's a solid three out of five. It's definitely not replacing Mage Hand or any of the high utility cantrips, but as far as like a, a useful tool and a Druid's tool belt, absolutely I want this. Uh, I'm putting it at just above useless. I'm giving it a two. I, um, not, all right, not useless. Uh, not practically useful. Yes, you've given me a couple ideas on ways that you might do something with it, but uh, this is... This barely meets the our, our requirement for it does something. A lot of things. Just a, yeah. All right. I honestly kind of wish more the utility cantrips were closer to this power level. I think I like them being not mage hand levels of powerful, but you know, everything can't be perfect. Yeah, I mean, like, well, mage hand is the only one that's mage hand levels of powerful. I mean, I think minor illusion is pretty close to mage hand. I think. They're around that. Like, it, illusion magic 
is very powerful. And I think yeah. this is kind of close. Like this isn't, I, I think you are discrediting the instantaneous harmless effects in the hands of a creative player, in the hands of someone that likes illusion magic and likes playing around in that headspace, coming up with ridiculous plans in the moment, there's a ton that can be done in a five foot cube with this conceptually effect. I, I think there's genuine merit that. All right. Well, thank you for sharing. And uh, yeah. audience at home, let us know what you think down in the comments. Um, is yeah, that right? Uh, is this stone useless or am I closer to right? No, you can do lots of cool stuff with it. No, nah, I think I think you're going to win the heart of the crowd on this one. I think there are a lot of Druidcraft fans out there. Uh, I'm the, the grouchy naysayer. I feel like but, you would feel better about this spell if it didn't have the Flower Blossom Seed Pot Open or Leaf Bud Bloom. Like if that no, line I'm, wasn't I'm there, fully, I think you'd no, feel I'm better about it. I'm absolutely fine with that. I, I'm, I'm happy it's there. It's just, it, it, that effect is demonstrably useless. So... That's, that's the only one I'm probably ever going to use. I, I mean, I like the idea of me as a druid just walking through the woods, making flowers bloom all over I the place. I love that, yeah. Yeah. Um, right. I'm just well, thinking, like, it's a, it's a 90s or 80s movie, right? And it's just, like, the wink and the nod and the everything's <laughs> going right for this guy moment. Yeah, that's beautiful. I, with this spell specifically, that's so funny. <laughs> On my way to the bar. Exactly. Pick up some chicks with my dead flowers. All right. Well, thank you, Sam. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Like I said, leave your thoughts and feelings down in the comments below. Um, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.